The New England states. The Middle Atlantic states. The Southern states. The Midwestern states. The Plain states. The Southwestern states. The Rocky Mountain states. The Pacific states. The United States. The New England states, birthplace of a nation. We're the early voyagers across the Atlantic. The Pilgrims, Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Plantation, beginnings in the New World. Time-worn mountains, lakes and wooded hills, the sea, industrial beginnings in America, growth, development, modern New England. But the past is still important in the New England states. The Middle Atlantic states, urban complex. We're people, millions of people. People crowded together, living, playing, working. We're industry, heavy and light. Steel. Shipbuilding. Coal mining. We're movement. Mass movement. Goods. And people. We're government, we're commerce and trade, but mainly we're people, millions of people in the big crowded cities in the middle Atlantic states. The southern states, historic lands, new ideas. Tradition, we're tradition and architecture, in history. an agricultural past, and an agricultural present. Mechanization, specialization, food processing, cotton, and textiles. Forests, and furniture, wood pulp and paper, resources that grow and resources that are mined, and from them, chemical processing. The Mississippi, world trade route, river of history. We're growing in touch with the past, living in the present looking to the future. Atomic power, space, we're still making history in the southern states. The Midwestern states, the nation's heartland. Chicago, marketing, transportation, industry, big industry.
goods on rich farmlands, crops, cattle, dairy products, farming and industry, transportation and marketing, commodities bought and sold. It all works together here in the Midwest. The Plain States, meat and grain. Where there's enough rain, corn. Where there isn't, wheat. <gasps> Livestock fed by the grain we grow. Technology. And one man doing the work it once took many to do. Mechanization on a big scale. Movement to market. To the cities for processing. Grain. And meat. We feed the nation with meat and grain from the Plain States. The southwestern states, growth in the desert. First, we grew on cattle, and then on oil. And we grew a lot. We had cotton, high-grade cotton. to help it grow in dry country, irrigation. Irrigation for fruit, too. Mineral wealth. Retiring, for living. We're growing under blue skies in the warmth of the Southwest. The Rocky Mountain states, changing frontier lands. The mountains, what a treasure we have. What a rich resource. Historic barriers to travel, Barriers no more. Strange and beautiful lands. Grazing lands. on the mountains and minerals inside them. Mining and smelting. Oil and refineries. Streams rushing down the mountainsides to give us power for homes, for industries, irrigation for crops in these dry but rich soils of the Rocky Mountain states.
the Pacific states, variety and change. We work using the varied and plentiful resources. In the northern forest, lumbermen. On the sea and rivers, seamen and fishermen. fruits from the responsive land and mild climate. We irrigate. Water from dams and dams for power. The Pacific coast with its weather, vacation lands. We're people and cars and places to go. We're big cities all around the Pacific, north from Washington into Alaska. From the mountains of Alaska across the Pacific to the mountains of Hawaii and its sandy shores. travelers, and we attract travelers from all over America to our Pacific states. The Pacific states. The Rocky Mountain states. The Southwestern states. The Plain states. the Midwestern states, the Southern states, the Middle Atlantic states, the New England states, the United States.